Hello and welcome back to Ballistic Coalition. So today we're going to be taking a look at my armor again. I'm just making a few changes on it now. Um, quarter inch aluminum backing plate instead of 3 8 thick aluminum backing plate. If you haven't checked out my video on my armor before, I'm going to be posting a video up top right around here somewhere. Go check that out. So that will be showing you how everything I've done up until this point. Then we're going to be moving on and putting a thinner ceramic that's going to be a porcelain uh, backer and I'm going to be bonding that with fire blocking sealant okay the reason i'm using this is it has some really hard components in it it has sodium silicate titanium dioxide quartz silicate okay it has a whole bunch of randomly hard materials in there so i think that'll work very well for what i i plan on doing and then we have some decorative mosaic glass and that's going to make a 3 8 thick ceramic face for this uh plate and we're going to be testing that out at the range Okay, so we got our tiles cut to fit our plate. We're going to go and take these glass mosaics and we're going to bond them on there with this stuff. And just like that, the glass is all done being uh, glued on there. So basically now we're just going to coat the face of the glass and the ceramic tile with this Gorilla Glue heavy duty construction adhesive. This stuff works pretty good. It's really rubbery stuff and it's very tough. So that's going to help hold everything together for multiple hits. All right, so our plate's all now finished. It's dried. I uh, wrapped it with a, a cloth pretty much just to make it look more finished. You know, plates have like a, a cloth wrap on there to make it look like a final finished product. So I'm going to start trying to wrap these with a vinyl pretty much to make it look like a finished job. And the only issue with this plate is it's 4.9 pounds. Uh, it takes two of these to make a 10 by 12 plate. So we're overweight. I actually only reduced a couple of pounds, not even a couple of pounds. I think I knocked off a pound off of my original design. But we're going to test it out here today with a 30 odd six. We got a, a 243 and we have my 556 with M855s. Everything is uh, standard lead nose or the M855. Uh, I got nine mil. We're going to be running FMJs with that. I know it's going to stop that. Uh, that's an easy feat to stop nine mil. Okay, so first up, we got a 180 grain lead nose, 30 odd six round. I got my GoPro on over there. We're about 15 feet, 20 feet away from our target. This is quite a substantial threat right here. And I missed. Okay, I just grabbed another one. That's just real life conditions for you. You know, you're gonna miss. I think this thing's shooting a little bit to the uh, to the left. Okay, we got one more. I'm gonna hold to the right because I think it's shooting to the left and low a little bit. That was a hit. Okay, let's go check it out. You guys will see it real time as I am. Entry. Stop that 30 odd six. Whoo! She almost made it on through there. You can see that aluminum is cracking, just about spalling on the backside of it. But it stopped it. Okay, so now we got a 243 with a hundred grain projectile in here. We're gonna go and shoot that same distance as the 30 odd six. We're gonna see how the compromised armor holds up to being hit with an even faster moving round. Okay, let's check it out. Definitely doesn't have as much power behind that 243 as the 30 odd six does. It's just moving a little faster, smaller bullet. That just shredded and delaminated my uh, my vinyl wrap job I did on it. It looks like it was a corner hit. Oh yeah, yeah, I was within an less than an inch from where that impacted, and it still stopped that bullet. 
All right, we're going to go and throw some M855 at this shattered, destroyed plate and probably make it through it now. It's barely even staying together. Okay, now we got America's most uh, favorite rifle right here, the 5.56, 5 or the most common rifle, whatever you want to call it with some standard green tip ammunition. So this is a pretty common threat that you may be facing. We'll see if that compromised plate is able to stop these rounds. I have three of them loaded up. We're gonna shoot one, go check it out, shoot one, go check it out, shoot one, go check it out, see which ones make it through. I don't know, that plate didn't move much. I think that one's whizzed right through it. The hit was, uh, looks like it was right here, right next to the 243 within an inch. And there was a pass through. Actually, that landed right next to the 30 odd six round, but there really wasn't much material left behind it. There's the impact of the 556. There's our 30 odd six, and there's the pass through. So a pretty compromised area already. Let's go and try to throw one up in this area and see if it stops it. Okay, so we got one more green tip. We're gonna try and throw this one a little bit higher, maybe to the right more, because the 243 is off to the left. Okay, so this one I have a feeling it might have did a little bit better on stopping. Just a little more material there. Yep, I'm correct. So there's our 556 five, impact. Stopped it. This plate has nothing left to it, man. We're gonna throw one more at it, just for good measure, to show you that there's no ceramic left on it. Make sure it's blown apart. And then we're gonna go and throw some 9 mil ammo at it. landed right on the corner of 243. Oh. Okay, let's see what we got here. No pass through. It hit right here, where this big bulge, actually it might have been this one right here. I don't think that was there before. So it hit there, it almost shredded on through there, almost but it still stopped it with nothing left. It's just crumbling as I move it. One successful pass through. And that was stacked almost right on the, the 30 odd six. So let's go and destroy this with nine mil. Okay, so now we're even closer. We're within about 10 feet from the target and we're gonna be using a pretty common nine millimeter self-defense ammunition. Okay, this will focus for me. And we are going to shoot this from about 10 feet. I think I missed that one. Let's see. Still no pass through. Up again. Guys, there is absolutely nothing left of this armor. Completely shredded. It's bent to shit. And we only had one pass through that was right next to the 30 odd six. It was because there was no ceramic material or anything right there. This is some pretty, uh, pretty quality design. I wish I could make it lighter than I did because this, this stuff is not even holding together anymore and it's still su sufficiently stopping nine millimeter rounds. Okay, so here we are. We're gonna dissect this plate. I already had what looks like i think this is one of the nine millimeter rounds 
because there's a little bit of red polymer tip still stuck into it. So I believe this is one of our nine millimeter rounds, but we're gonna go and dissect our plate and see what's really left to it. As you can see, there's not much ceramic left. A little bit of glass stuck to the Gorilla adhesive still. So that's kind of a little beat up, a little shot. But we're gonna go and unscrew this and see what we got on the aluminum stocking plate. Actually really surprised all these aren't bent bent to shit. I've seen that on some of my plates where the screws are pretty bent. All right. So at first glance, I can see these are our M855 steel penetrators turned sideways in here. They're pretty noticeable. That's what they look like. The lead is just completely gone. You can see they really gouged out that aluminum plate, almost making it through. This was the 30-odd uh, the six right there. Um, so this was sitting like that. So that's our 30 odd six hole. I don't see our 30 odd six bullet anywhere. Maybe this is our 30 odd six. It honestly might be. Um, looks like there's two nine millimeters stacked right on top of each other, right in this hole. And this is another one of the nine, so nine, nine, nine. But yeah, this works just these two to stop nine millimeters. This high density polyethylene and aluminum plate is nine millimeter handgun rated. Um, you go and put this ceramic in front of it, and you got a rifle rated plate. But just these two plates together make it a, uh, a level three. You go and slap that ceramic in front of it and it's level four. I haven't really tried it with any armor penetrating rounds. Well guys, this armor performed better than I ever could have hoped it was gonna. We did have one pass through, but that would have been uh, passed over by NIJ standards because it was within an inch of another shot. There was no material there to stop anything. After that, it repetitively stopped every other round that we threw at it. 243, nine millimeter. Uh, it stopped at 30 odd six. I shot that first just because I knew that was that was gonna obliterate this plate. So I shot 30 odd six first, then a 243, couple 556, five, couple nine mil. This thing fared extremely well. It it bent to shit, you know. But for armor to perform as well as this, you can't ask for much more than that.